welcome back. I can't believe it, but it's finally the last video in the series of building this shed. Truth be told, it's taken quite a while to get from the very beginnings to this point. It took a whole year to shoot and build this shed, in between being a father and a husband and having a full-time job. And it's taken another full year to find the time to edit it down and upload it for you. Although I've managed to upload a few other videos in that time. Anyway, before we get on to the main job of building and fitting the door, I've been working on some bracings, as I've noticed the lateral strength of the shed is lacking a little. much better. So with that complete and more or less level you can get on with building the door. I had just enough time in this visit down the garden to build the door frame. But I'll be back later to carry on with the main job. following weekend I had some time to come down and get some tomatoes. But soon my attention is going to have to go back to building that door. The timbers of the door jam are the same wood that I'm going to use to construct the door. So here I've just made the door stop exactly the depth of one of those timbers. So the door fits snugly in the jam.
I've decided to make the dill with three cross members. So here I am finishing the last one and making sure it's a good fit. I've designed the height of the door to be exactly the size that the timber comes in from the shop. So I've saved myself the job of sawing all of those timbers as I make the door. The construction of the door is actually quite simple. I'm just going to screw the uprights onto the cross members and glue in between each one. So let's get started and watch me do that now. I was allowed out to play one third and final time to be able to get the door completed. And I'm sure you've noticed that the final timber of the door is not yet fitted. And I'll need to go into explaining the, the reason for that as we carry on watching. So if you see on the left there, there's a 
gap at the top that doesn't exist at the bottom. Um, and this is because what I realised is, is that the door frame and indeed the whole shed is off plumb. So everything leans to the left ever so slightly by about an inch across the full height of the shed. So this is one of the reasons why I've left the last timber off because I'll need to find a way of fitting the door first and then seeing what shape the last timber should be in order to be able to shut the door without it jamming. There are a couple of reasons why this has happened. The first, I guess I could attribute to the fact that, it, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that the whole shed build has taken a year to happen. So the, sh the frame has sat unsupported for many months and has gradually listed. So perhaps if I built it all in the space of a week, this might not have happened. But the primary reason I will have to admit is that I took some shortcuts when I was making the footing and I didn't get it 100% level. So the whole thing sits on a slightly off base. Isn't it interesting how events at the very beginning of a process can wait and accumulate and be ready to teach you something right at the very end. My mentality isn't to be discouraged by this. It's a part of life. Even though it's just a shed, if one looks hard enough, one can find meaning in anything, even in the most humblest of things. So, just as in life, one always has to adapt. So in my shed build, I have adapted as well. And so with the shim at the top and a hinge embedded at the bottom, I found a way to accommodate the curveball my younger self left for me. So let's speed things up again now and watch me hang the door.
Well, that's not so bad, is it? And that gap at the top left will serve as a reminder to me to do better in my next project. All that remains is to finish things off with the doll furniture. With things being so close to completion, it seems I've attracted a passerby to this auspicious event. So, as the onlookers observe my progress, I'm just finishing things off with a welcome bolt. Go on, go on, shoot.